Hello. This is a template for a uh, newspaper that you guys can use in your classes. Um, now, I did a couple of things with this template that I want to draw your attention to because it might seem a little counterintuitive. Number one, all of the text here is just random Latin. All right, it's Latin that I've gotten, so you can see what text looks like without ever actually having to write your stories or text. The other thing you'll notice is that text size is 36, which is huge. Um, that's because if you go to page setup, I have this set to a custom size of 34 by 44 inches. The reason I did that was because I wanted this uh, to look good if uh, Mrs. Venna or Mrs. Torero want to blow this up into a poster. So there's that. So on this template, you have three stories, or three spots for stories, here, here, and here. And all the stories currently have, um, like I said, Latin text. So if you want to change the text, highlight, delete, and where that says top story, maybe I'll bump that up to 60 or 72, and now I can write, this is today's top story, right? And then I can go ahead and write my story. Um, you can drop the font size down to 12, which is a very readable size. Um, when I print it, uh, it'll be the size of normal text on normal paper. Um, but you have options as far as that's concerned. Each of these images are placeholder images. So let's say I want to replace one of these images. I can click on it. I can go to replace image. I can search the web. And then let's see, today's top story uh, will be on uh, dogs. Click on the dog, replace. Now I have a dog, all right? Um, maybe down here. We want to replace images, search the web. We're talking about cats down here. All right, and then there's the image of the cat. And let's say you don't like the placement of that or the look of that. You can click on any image. You can go to crop, right? And you can crop like that. Or if you are more interested in something else, you can do a mask shape so click this little down arrow here shape and let's go with this all right now i have that as my shape or let's say i want to thicken the line around the box i can do that by clicking through this pencil right i can change the color to blue i can even change it to a dashed line you guys have options okay so, uh, also, you might not want to call it the Technology Times. If you double-click, you can change the name. Maybe you don't like Times New Roman. Maybe you like that. Then you have to reshape. This uh, title here is Word Art. So you can change it by double-clicking right, and t changing your text. And then select the font that you like. And then you just move it around like an image. And this is pretty much how you're going to work this. Um, when it's done, if uh, Mrs. Torero and Mrs. Venna really like it, you can uh, send it my way and I'll make a poster. Right. Um, the other thing you can do if you want to change an image, you can click on that, replace image, and then upload from computer if you've downloaded something. Um, or if you click on that image, you can go to Format Options. Sometimes you have Recolor as an option. Sometimes you might want to do like uh, a shadow. So now that image kind of has that little reflection. I'm sorry. You can do a drop shadow. Kind of mess with some of your sliders there. So now I have, uh, I guess, Garfield here. But notice, by doing that, this now spills off the bottom of the page. So I probably would want to move that image up here make that a little smaller so it all fits. So you want to stay within the borders of your page. Um, you're working on a Chromebook, so if you go to view and zoom, uh, fit might be like 4% because it, that's just going to be very, very small because um, of how big this uh, file is or how big this uh, page is. Remember, it's 44 inches tall. Um, if I click on 100%, this is all I'm seeing, right? 
but if I want to work in a very small area, that'll work. Right? If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, I'm here for you. Um, looking forward to seeing what you guys create.